Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Busy day, as usual, since I'm always batshit crazy busy. I am just about ready to head out. I'm going to Michael's again for some supplies. I realized that while I got that little foam memo printer that has stickered paper, and I got a bunch of stickers and some pens and all that shit, I don't have any glue or decent small scissors so I can cut shit out and paste it into these things. For instance, I got another new fountain pen yesterday and I put red ink into it and I tested it out and then I gave my wife a piece of paper and left her with the pen and went upstairs and she made me an interesting little drawing. So I wanna cut that out and put it in into one of the journals and I don't have any glue and I don't wanna use tape or anything like that. So I'm gonna go get that. I'm probably gonna go get some more beads, take my time and look at them and see if there's anything that I want to put together another bracelet or whatever. This one on the bottom here turned out really well. I used the leftover skulls that I had and the matte black glass beads. Uh, of course, the other skull with the lava beads works really well. And the turquoise one with the lava beads, I actually saw at Michael's and bought it because I liked it. So I'm gonna play around with all that and uh, then come back and my wife's gonna come home for lunch. Then I have my dentist appointment at two, but I'm gonna take my birding set up with me and I'm gonna leave the dentist appointment since I'm already gonna be in that direction and go do a loop at Pleasure House Point. High's only gonna be 73 today, so very pleasant. I've had a wonderful day off so far. I didn't sleep in like I knew I wouldn't. I made myself breakfast and I've just sort of been dicking around on the internet while I'm sitting here waiting for shit to come to pass. I'm expecting a delivery today. Well, I'm expecting deliveries every day. You know how that goes. But I ended up buying the Sony battery grip for this A7 IV and that is coming today. And I bought that from MPB. They got it out really quickly. I was surprised it showed that it wasn't supposed to come until next week, but then I saw that it was gonna be out for delivery today. So hopefully that'll show up sooner rather than later and I can get that and then I will have extra an extra battery. And for now, I'm gonna test out my RAV power batteries. Those have been sitting in the humidifier cabinet or humidity cabinet, whatever the hell you wanna call it. And I, I mean, they've been in there for months. I mean, months, if not years, uh, that I haven't used those batteries because I was using original Sony's, but I put them on the charger and they're almost still completely charged. So hell yeah, RAV power. But I'm gonna test them out and see how they work because I have two of those in the cabinet. Plus I have two Koas or whatever, and they came as a kit when I bought something from Adorama, boo. And I still have if I use my original Sony's, then I only have one spare. And between all three cameras, uh, that makes me kind of leery. So I'm gonna see how the RAV4s do, and if they do well enough, then I will use those in lieu of the Sony so that I always have a few Sony's, you know, like all charged up and ready to go because there's nothing like the OEM batteries. Okay, uh, let's get dressed or finish getting dressed, go to Michael's, We'll come back and we'll go from there. All right, so that was uh, time well spent. I got a bunch of stuff at Michael's, exactly what I was looking for. And I'm gonna show you everything that I put together for this whole like journaling type kit. Um, let's see, first thing I got was this little notepad thingamajigger. And this was what I got at the pen store yesterday. So it, it is just a small little, I don't know, like, notepad type thing but it's put together you can't i don't know if you can really see it but it's put together with string on and you know it, it's all basically strung together and i thought that this would be the perfect thing for a zine and it, it's along the lines of what i was thinking and since they had one i figured i'd try it out also i did get a few rolls of the thermal paper in when i ordered the printer and all the other assorted things I probably already showed you this, but here's the Instax Mini 11, uh, basically portable camera, kind of like a Polaroid. You pop it and it spits out a little picture. And I'll show you one of those. It's like that big. That's a picture of my wife not wanting her picture taken while she's sitting on the couch. That goes inside there. Then here is the little foam memo printer. 
It's supposed to look like an envelope. Isn't that cute? And you just load the paper inside and it has a rechargeable battery. It's supposed to last for a while. It didn't take that long to charge up for the initial charge. And I already printed a picture out from my phone, which then I just opened up in the app. And that was a picture of my queen at, uh, I don't know where that picture was taken. So it's a picture of my queen. It's just on a, a it was like a sample strip of paper that they gave you and it's sticker backed. So it will peel and stick to whatever you stick it to, which is going to be one of those memo books, journal books, whatever. Also, and here's another thing that I got this morning at Michael's and that is an actual cutting pad. This is the smallest one that I could find that was big enough to be worthwhile. Also, I got a bunch of stickers, various styles. Uh, this is just a plain box, but it's more stickers. And I thought that that would be neat to have different kinds of stickers. And I'll put those all away later. The other thing that I got that I had originally tended to go to Michael's for was glue sticks. And this is Elmer's Craft Bond Photo Sticks. So it's supposed to be strong enough to, to basically paste photos. So I figured that it, if it's strong enough to hold photos in place, it should be strong enough to put random pieces of paper and shit in there. I also got this neat little thing, which I guess is a, um, like you put it, you put your finger through the, the whole giggity and it's an, like an X-Acto knife so that you can get really precise on what you cut out. But I also got a decent pair of scissors because I got a lot of scissors laying around in various rooms, but they're all shit because they're all old and not used properly. That was it for that. And then as far as some more bracelet supplies, I got uh, shiny glass beads, shiny reddish beads, and some greenish beads. So this way, this, this is at least two bracelets worth of stuff that I can build on. This was the fountain pen that I got yesterday. <laughs> and that's the little drawing that my wife tested, tested it out. I got the ink in it as well. So in addition to the pen, I did get green ink, purple ink, <clears throat> and red ink. And I have a red one in the new pen for now. And that's pretty much it. That's my haul from the past couple of days. Uh, again, I'm waiting for the battery grip for the A7 IV to be delivered by FedEx. It's promised by nine o'clock tonight, so I don't know that that means I'm gonna get it tonight. I have some other bracelet supplies coming, but they're just gonna be backups because I already went out and got other shit at Michael's, and that covers me for all the shit that I've been doing. So that's pretty cool. I also am waiting for a lens, not a normal like Sony lens, but way back when I first started doing this and I was shooting Canon, uh, at the time this company called Lens Baby had sprung up and they started making these lenses that you could do just different things with. Instead of just a standard, take a picture and, and, and then play with it in post, which even then was a little bit rough to do. They basically almost gave you a tilt shift or they blurred shit out or they did, you know, all kinds of weird things. And I was just thinking that the other day and I texted my wife and I was like, what was the name of that weird lens that, that I got back when we were shooting Canon? And she was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, you know, it's the one that allows you to sort of change your perspective or do weird shit. And at the time she sent me her answer, it popped into my head and I was like, lens baby. So I went to the lens baby site and now they have a whole bunch of other stuff that obviously, I mean, it was 10, 15 years ago it was 15 years ago that they started uh, creating all these things. So now there's different filters and, and there's different size lenses and all that kind of stuff. Bottom line, I bought a 56 millimeter, I think it's a 1.4 velvet lens. So it's manual focus, but it, they call it velvet, which sort of gives a softness around, the, you know, wherever it is that you have the focus. And I don't know, I looked through all the pictures on the website and they were cool as shit. And I thought that's just what I need to 
to even take me in, a, in another direction that I'd like to go in. So it, it's also a macro lens, which is good for flowers that obviously I like to take. So I'm going to play around with it as soon as it comes in. I don't think it's supposed to be here until the end of next week, though, so I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. I looked up the Platypod information, and that says July or August. So I got to put that out of my head. I'm not getting that anytime soon. Other than that, I don't think that there's anything else that's like major coming in and I'm done now. I have all the creative stuff other than getting supplies and stickers or, or you know, uh, uh, colored pens or pencils or something like that. There's really not much else that, that I need or want. So now it's just a matter of creation. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think that that, that person that I contacted about shooting with is, is going to go anywhere. Uh, it's the second message that I've sent that hasn't been responded to, so I'm done. Once again, I'm, you know, human beings are just the, so, uh, back out into the woods today for birds. But that's it for now. My wife will be home shortly for lunch, and then I need to get ready for my dentist appointment and get packed up so that I'm ready to go into the woods right after that. So, I'll talk to you and wrap all this shit up at the end of the day. All right, kids, I'm going to wrap this up for today. I did have a very good trip through Pleasure House Point. I just pulled up the pictures. They're, well, I'm offloading them now, and it looks like I got a bunch. There's lots of birdies out there, and I had a great time. My dental appointment went fine. I just had the standard cleaning. Nothing looks crazy, and all is well there. In the meantime, I did get some deliveries. I got the batteries that I ordered for my wife's camera, and oddly enough, like, Last week, I got the charger, but I didn't get the batteries, and I wasn't supposed to get them until at least next week. So I don't know why they showed up, but they did. And that's fine. So I'm charging those right now. I also got the grip. So the grip is now on the A7 IV, in addition to the charged, freshly charged RAV power batteries. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I put them in there. They showed 100%, and let's see how long they last. In the meantime, I'm charging up the Sony. That, that I was using. I had a great day off. I would have liked to have gotten a few more errands done, but in the end, don't care about that shit. I've got the rest of the weekend and it was gorgeous out today. And I think it's supposed to be nice all weekend. Either way, go out and have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy yourselves. I'm gonna have already posted some of the pictures that I got here. I got a ton of them, so you're not getting that many, but you'll, you'll get a You'll get the gist. So that's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.